team, but really covering 16 counties, going from Georgia down to Miami, such as All our members are extremely concerned with uh, what's happening regarding the single trail pipeline. We had this meeting on Saturday where members from the Gulf Restoration Network, New Orleans, Malls in Georgia, Spectra Busters, our Center for Labor and Sierra Net. And um, what I want to share with you, what I want to ask you is not to give a permit, a water permit, to the Civil Trail Association or company. Uh, they are going to ask for one. The Federal Energy Regulatory the regulatory commission has given a permit to civil trail, but more permits are needed, and one of them is water permit. And you are one of the bodies that is going to allow that. Um, at this time, there are so many incidents happening with pipelines that disrupt the life and the health of many families. In West Virginia, all over the country, we have heard, I'm sure, of uh, methane um, leakage in uh, Nevada in the last year. So anyway, coming back to this area, the civil trade documentation to FERC regarding the proximity to sinkholes is not accurate. So their lack of honesty creates doubts in the public about safety issues. And we have gone, I have gone personally with Chris and and other members on the hike where Civil Trail has proposed a route in Suwannee County, in the Suwannee River State Park. And we can see, we, we did several hikes there. One is the ten year who also was sharing our concerns. But then, we met with several trail people and it's not really backing us on this issue. But several counties, Hamilton County, Suwannee County, Marion County commissioners have written to the Army Corps of Engineers asking for further supplemental and final studies to be done because there is <coughs> concern again by the public that about this project. I am not sure that your body, you know, that you can hold with that, but it would be great if you could write also to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers expressing your own concern about this project and uh, asking for more studies. It's not right to go into a project when you can see that the company is not really giving you true information on the, the boot and the various data that they give and it's just an So, yeah. So, Arian, I just wanted to clarify, how do you know that that's not accurate information? What, what is your... We have had... What is your matrix to measure that? Okay. We have had two, two various geologists, hydrologists doing research and uh, they are different process that they received already from the Army Corps and other words, haven't they already been approved? No, they have not been approved. They have not, not been approved. The no. FERC is the only federal body that has approved that. So what about the state DEP? No, I don't think so. No, they, they, they've gotten permitted. No, they, so. They've been permitted. Do we, do, will we be approving any permits for that? So there's been a subset, I believe, of permits from DEP to FERC. Army Corps is working on it. That's what we spoke about last time. The only thing that we get a permit is depending on the amount of water that you need um, for certain activities. That's a threshold for permitting when they're required to get a permit from us for use. We have not. Just 
just for the construction phase? Uh, no, no, for consumptive use. Uh, or yes. For you, but I mean, just for the construction right. phase? Construction. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be a long term. Right. right. <coughs> um, and so that's a small segment, and that's what I think it's helpful to, and, and last time we discussed that the Army Corps really had the goal of, of permitting for the issues. I think uh, folks in concern, and so we help reach out. We're trying to expand dialogue. I understand the, the issue, and, and, and I, 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 I anytime you go into the river and all those kinds of things, it's all about it. So, but, you know, when, and I hate to go back to, uh, to a legal standard here, but you're, you're really, you know, with the Army Corps, is really going to be where you get that. Because if all those permits get issued, our consumptive use permit, that would be issued if it does, if they even ask for one would be a formality more than anything else, I'll tell you, because, I mean, we may could deny it and they would stop it from us, but it being a short-term construction permit, the, the chances of us being able to, to to come out of that legally and actually do something about it would be pretty slim. But the Army Corps of Engineers has the, has the stick, I'll put it that way. I understand that, but still, I'm asking you, yeah, Let, let me let me just say, one of, and I understand where you're coming from, but but let me, you know, we would, we would, and I'm not saying we would or would not deny, but we would, the way that that process would have to go is we'd have to look at it, and it is can we legally deny it, and if we can, if we can't, even if we did it, how would that look? I mean, what would it, if, if what would the likelihood of, of winning a lawsuit? If, if, and if, our, if our attorney says we've probably only got 10% chance or 20% chance of winning it if you deny it, then, you know, it, then we have to think about how do we want to spend the taxpayer's money. I'm not suggesting that's the case. I'm just saying that's the way we would have to look at this thing and see if, if we can legally do it. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm, and I, I understand what you're saying, and we'll sure take that into consideration. But I just want you to know what we would be looking at. Yeah, I understand. And we may not even be asked.